There are an estimated 50 million Americans involved in organized recreational sports. But in Los Angeles, one unlikely team of women who call themselves the Pistol Shrimps has taken recreational basketball to a whole new level. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. Oh boy, Amanda Fun Buns Lawn takes the field. A sweaty public gymnasium in the valley, northern LA. An amateur rec league game of basketball. That's a real game of hungry, hungry hippos out there. Tonight, the Pistol Shrimps, a band of models, actresses, musicians, and writers with a bizarrely big following for an amateur rec team, they're taking on the Chicago Bulls. My name's Colin Hanks. Colin, son of Tom, calls the game. Don't take steps in basketball without bouncing the ball. That's my understanding. Among the Lucille Ballers, Kareem abdul Jababes, and the Los Angeles Nail clippers, the pistol shrimps garner a level of attention I don't yet understand. Why am I here doing a story on this? <laughs> Why are you selling t shirts, you know, around the world? Why has this become a thing? Well, there's a couple reasons. I mean, Aubrey Plaz is on the team, and she's a Hollywood sweetheart. You know, plays April Ludgate, the weird laconic one on Parks and Rec. April Ludgate, professional drinker. She's injured tonight. The rest of the team is missing her. Number 53. And they are models Paisley and Melissa, singer-songwriter Jesse, a bunch of actors and comedy writers like Maria, Stephanie, Molly, and... Angela Swaggy Trim Trimmer and Amanda Bun Bun Blunt. Were you a basketball player before? Do you, do you have a history in this game? Uh, I played for my church league. Uh, in Delaware. Shout out to Delaware, to St. Anne's. She's now a legit celeb, exploits that on the court. One time, this girl who I was defending, she asked me if I would take a picture with her after the game, and I said, if you give me the ball right now. And so she just handed it to me, and I made a layup. That was the only time it worked. And talking up the shrimps on talk shows and stuff. We're a really serious basketball team. No, you're not. Yeah, we are. We will dunk on your ass uh, so hey, hard. Hey, talk are shows are weird. I never know what to say on those things, so I just talked about my basketball team, and then I guess it went viral, as, okay. they, as they say. Morgan Spurlock produced a documentary. The games garner a growing following. They'll probably win an award or something. They're called the Pistol Shrimps. Last time they met, the Bulls won. That was like a Braveheart wall where they're all just standing there with their faces painted blue. Hipsters in the stands. Are you like a sports fan? Not at all. Normally? I can't stand sports. I like this thing. Old ladies glued to the game. What do you think, Grandma? I thought it was exciting. Are you a basketball type person? Not really. <laughs> And a halftime dance show led by pistol shrimp Angela Trimber, like nothing I've ever seen. It's a Prince tribute. But at heart, this is a story about a mediocre women's basketball team. As I understand it, your record has not necessarily been stellar. This season, uh, we're starting off a little rough. A mediocre team that has somehow revived a previously obscure and demi-defunct league. I came to the first game because I thought it was a joke. I just thought it was like a weird improv show in a gym. But you see, I'm still wondering if that's what it is. No, it's real. It's absolutely real. We care about this. Hit Hollywood types, sans makeup, sans hype, just sweating on a Tuesday evening. We have inspired a whole group of women around Los Angeles that, yeah. that were lacking something in their lives and now have an outlet for, I don't know, fun, sports, yeah. things that aren't right. involved in the industry. You know, it's just to be told it's okay not to be good at basketball. It's okay to just come out and have fun. I don't know Steph Curry, uh -huh. but I know these women and I care about them and I care if they win and I, I care, oh, we didn't, we missed one. And what does pistol shrimps mean? The pistol shrimps is a real sea creature. As seen in this Nat Geo video. It makes the loudest sound in the ocean and it has this little claw. And then when it snaps, it shoots a bubble so fast, it's faster than a speeding bullet, it could shatter glass. We want it to be uh, like a little uh, but a little <laughs> bit of uh, okay. you know? I don't, but that doesn't matter. Tonight, the shrimps prevail. I thought you were going to blow it. I know you did. I saw you watching. I saw your eyes. That's how we like to do it when there's cameras around. We like to get a big 
yeah. Everyone thinks it's like a joke, like, oh my god, like some girls in the entertainment industry playing basketball, and then they get here and they realize, like, it's we're all very competitive. We're for real. All right, here we go. But there's a serious dampener on this victory. Since my injury in December, uh, I've, you know, had a lot of time to think about my basketball career. Dark rumors surround their injured talisman. I've decided to um, test free agency. Why are you doing this? I talk to my family and I really figure out what's right for me in my basketball career going forward. Speechless. Thanks. Just leave it there. Okay. What next for the pistol shrimps? I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in the Valley. The Pistol Shrimps documentary is currently streaming on CISO.